What happened? She's hemorrhaging behind her eye. Still want in on a surgery today? I'm sorry I hid Ava from you, all right? Look, I screwed up, again. But that doesn't change the fact that you're a doctor and she's a patient. Fine. Dr. Sloan says to start without him, Dr. Kreb. We go in, suction out the blood, expose the rim, cauterize the bleed. I don't know if we saved the eye. You did your best, Alex. I... I, I, I gotta go. What do you want from me? I fed you, I burped you, I even changed your diaper. And trust me, I don't go around changing anyone's diapers. The least you can do is tell me what you want. Ah, of course, I have to be the one to volunteer to offer to take care of Bailey's baby. Good old Izzy, always looking out for everyone but herself. You think Meredith or Alex would be stupid enough to volunteer for nanny duty? Or Christina? I changed 30 diapers to see that. Yes! No! Wait, wait, wait. Listen, I know we can work this out. You want, um... You, you want me to talk about my life? Um, okay. Sometimes I wonder if I'll ever really get over Denny. People assume that just because I talk about him less, that means I miss him less. I'm pretty good at this. So, um, uh, well, there's George. It's so good to have my best friend back. It would never have worked out. Also, um...
Okay, see the slot labeled Yang? That's where my chart should be. I can't do my job unless you do yours. Where are my charts? Looking for something? It's not the magic word. It is if you don't want to be eating your next meal through a tube. I don't have time to play games with a bottom-feeding candy striper. I have a job, an important job, one that involves slicing people open, rearranging their organs, and then sewing them back up. So hand me my charts and go crawl back to whatever OR you came from. Here. A friend of mine in the mail removed me a favor. Heard you talking about the Davidson Fellowship and figured you might want this. I got it. I'd say something like congrats, but uh, you don't talk to candy stripers. Eddie? I'm gonna check your blood pressure, okay? It's low, and your pulse is quickening. I'm gonna give you a blood transfusion. It's so weird, you know? I've spent my whole career turning people's lives into a series of numbers. I always trusted the numbers. But now, for the first time, I'm not so sure. I just assumed I'd be alive for a long time because that's what the numbers said. I spent my whole life saying, I can do this later, I can do that later. But what if there is no later? You know what I mean? until she wakes up? I said some stupid things to her, right before she passed out. You still really care about her. I'll leave you two alone. You should go after her. Don't worry about her. 
Let's check your vision. You seeing things in focus? Sharp, clear, and in technicolor. I'm sorry for saying you came back for me. It was a little true, but you're in love, and I'm going home before you make an even bigger mess of things. talking about oh come on Alex you cannot pull off coy stop screwing it up and go after her we're okay go just a quick neurological exam mrs. Bellamy Looks good. I just want to take a quick peek at the wound. Get the hell off of me! Sweetheart, please. You have to let the doctor help. Shut up, Melvin. You're useless. You've always been useless. I... I... I can't believe it. I mean, how could this be possible? Her real personality is the mean one? Very sorry. <laughs> you know, Mr. Bellamy, people would understand if you weren't able to do this. What I mean is, there are many places I can refer you to that could help take care of your wife. I would never leave my wife. Never. No matter how her personality changes, she'll always be my wife. When you love someone, I mean really love someone, there is nothing that can stop you from wanting to be with them. 